All right, so now let's move into a fun segment we have called Rate the Kit. This is volume two. Um, last last volume, we were joined by our, our good friend, Sam Johnson, but this this uh, this round, we got Nate, he's gonna help us out. And so our rating system here is fire, mid, or trash, <laughs> right? Yeah. So if it's, you know, if it's fire, it's fire, right? If it's trash, it's trash. If it's mid, it's like, eh, yeah. I rock with it, but you know, and so what we're gonna do since some of some of these teams have have dropped multiple kits, we're gonna rate the entire thing front to back. Okay. Right. Cool. So not just because I know because last time we had like our I, I think the home kit is fire, but the away kit is trash. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna like so if that's the case, then all right, it's mid. The rating for that would be mid, right? So let's jump right into it. Um, let's see, boom. Oh. All right, so now we got Liverpool's home and away kits. I think they're. I I honestly think they're fire. I honestly think Liverpool's kits fire. I saw, I saw the home kit in the, the soccer store here in Toronto, and I thought it was really cool. The turquoise is all right. It kind of reminds me of the Arsenal kit that they had that was turquoise. Their last Puma year, I think. Um, but yeah, I honestly like to see them in Nike. I think the kits are cool. They fit well. Fire. Right. What do you guys think? think? Yeah, so with the red kit, uh, the home kit, uh, fire for sure. Shout out to LBF, uh, my guy, Aboon. Um, it's, a, it's similar to a jersey they have, so I like that a lot. Um, the, I'm really big on how the logo looks within a kit. Um, I think yeah. it looks good. Um, the away kit, uh, mid. I, I like the different with the turquoise, but it doesn't speak to like a Liverpool kit, you know? When you yeah. See Liverpool, you gotta have some accent of red in there. Um, so I'll give it mid. All right, I'm gonna say mid on the home kit. It's just a little too plain for me, um, but I, I like some of the details. But I don't know; it's not it's not really grabbing me. I'm gonna say fire on the away kit because I like patterns, I like busyness, I like craziness. That's kind of like my vibe. So I'm gonna say fire on that one. Okay. So overall, I'll say overall, I'll give it a I'll give it a fire overall. Okay. Yeah. Ready. All right, so now we got um, Barcelona home in a way. Uh, um, I think, I think honestly, the home jersey is trash to me. Like, I, I don't know, I don't. Uh, actually, no. Let me say mid because Barca have has had some trash stripes. Like, I remember I rate the classic. Um, the, I like when they do the multiple strikes instead of like two or just three. So yeah, that's mid. Um, the black jersey is fire to me. Like I like all black jerseys and the gold accents. Like I, I like black and gold together. I think it's fire. Yeah, black. That black away kit is fire to me. I like the black with the gold accents. Um, uh, logo integration is good. Um, yeah, it just fits. Uh, I feel like the home kit is just a traditional red blue. Uh, I, I don't want to say it's fire, but I don't want to say it's mid too. Um, so I guess I'll go with fire just because it's original. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say, eh, I'm gonna say mid on the home and fire on the away. Like Nate, like I'm a sucker for black and gold kits. So anything with like metallic gold and black. Yeah, you can't I'm with it. Like that's a jersey I would wear on the street. Like that's not Facts. like yeah. that's a lifestyle jersey. It's like the Barca jersey that they put out this year. You'll never know which season that came from. It looks like if they took one of their jerseys from 2004 and you put that on and compared it to this one, it's the same. But that's like a lifestyle jersey, the black one. You could throw that on with anything. It's fire. Yep. That's facts. All right, now we got Man U home away in uh, the rumored third kit. Hmm. The home one is ge generic, uh, generic menu. Um, the away kit, I saw them wear it in their Europa League semi final, was it? Yeah, and it looked all right, like mid, it was mid to me. 
their third kit is absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that looks like a zebra kit. Like, that kit is so trash. But, like, I don't know, just the black, white, and red, I get those are United colors, but it looks too zebra-ish. It doesn't look like with the Chevrolet logo, like it looks too big on the kit. Like for that, like they're just doing too much. They they just did too much and it didn't work out. That's the way I feel about it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give it mid all three. Um, the the home and away just basic. It doesn't really stand out. The the third alternate. I think you could do some things with it from like a lifestyle perspective, but like on the field uh yeah it don't it don't look right yeah i'm gonna agree with a moby i think the first two are mid like i mentioned when it, when they first dropped the home kit i said it looked like a, a soft leather a soft heather tee because yeah. of the, the the pattern the grading the grading in the um in the shirt um the third one i want to like it because i like patterns so i like that pattern but i just feel like the um the branding is out of place on it so like the logo and everything just it looks out of place on it so i'm gonna give that a trash all right so now we got man U. all right i mean man sorry man city um away in third kit uh, i give it i give it fire i like that away kit that away kit and that third kit like i'm big on lifestyle like so if you can wear it like out like you know, I'm big on that, and I think you can do that with both jerseys. So, oh yeah, one hundred. No, both of them are fire. Like Puma, Puma did their thing. Puma did their thing with the jersey because me, um, yeah, I'm not a city fan, but those are jerseys like our lifestyle, and you could rock them wherever with like anything going out. Like you could dress them up, dress them down, like mad cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go with fire across the board too. Um, that away kit is like it's my favorite. Um, too bad I'm not a city fan. I can't. I can never <laughs> buy it. But um, and, and even the even the Paisley is is a dope little touch. You don't really see that. You don't really see that kind of whimsy um, in the Premier League as much. So that's I true. think that's it's dope that they that they did. I wonder what color, what color shorts they're gonna go with for that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I want to see it fully kitted out. See how it really looks. But overall, I think that's dope. So fire for me. Now we got Crystal Palace, home away, and third kit. <laughs> these are fire. Woo, yeah, these are fire to me. Yeah. Okay. I would, yeah, I'm gonna go with fire, all of them. Uh, both of them, all of them you could wear on the street. Um, I like, yeah, I'm trying to see which one I like the most. The black one is the most fi fire to me. The black and blue ones fire the white one you have trouble seeing the logo as much like it doesn't stand out but i think both of them are fire and i like the way the um stripes don't go all the way up to the neck like they cut it off and like it's blue like at the top where it's the solid color at the top yeah i like them. i want to say trash but i'm gonna say mid it is and to me i can't i can't unsee like the captain america like classic Captain <laughs> America uniform when I see this. Um, so for that, I give it a mid. But I, li I like the colors, I like the vibrancy of the colors. And that like it, it really stains and pops out at you, but I just can't really get with the design too much. Yeah, fair enough. I like how it sticks out. Like when you see that, you're like, all right, what jersey is that? Like it makes you like want to ask questions. Yeah, you'll do a double take, yeah. 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 All right, now we got, um, Chelsea's rumored third kit. <sighs> Mid. I, I'm not feeling any of Chelsea's jerseys besides the, um, I think it's the home kit. This one's all right. I really, I really still don't understand what, who the logo is, but whatever. Yeah. Mid. Yeah. Me. I, I'm, uh, <sighs> I don't want to say it's trash because they tried to do something different, but it's like, I don't like it at all. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know to, like, I'm looking at it and I'm trying to find something that I'm like, yo, this isn't trash, 
but like I don't like the logo honestly I hate that three like it looks so like cartoon gamey like sci-fi exactly. like, like stranger things it's like what like nobody knows what that is and then um like this like the stripes down below like make it look like it's their classic blue jersey that's the only thing i would say i like about it maybe because the the orange like the color itself i don't like and i think knowing chelsea they're probably gonna try to match it like shorts and like are we losing you a little bit nate But I'm gonna go ahead and say it's trash. I yeah. just, I can, I can accept. I don't get it. I can accept <laughs> trash. It doesn't really make any sense. Like, there's plenty of. Uh, I don't want to disrespect whoever designed it, but come on. What are y'all doing? <laughs> I respect that you at least try to show respect to the designers. Yeah. As a designer myself, I, I, yeah, res- exactly. I respect that. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of hard work. So I, I understand. I can't make a jersey, so I can't be like, oh, this is trash, you know? That's why I always feel bad when saying something's trash. All right. The so next one we got Arsenal's uh, new away kit. They just actually released them today. Um, I'm going to say fire because <laughs> I like the story. I think it's dope overall. Um, I like the the marble. Like, so what, when they, what when they, the, what's the story behind it? So the Marble Halls of Highbury, their, oh, their okay. old stadium. Mm-hmm. So there's a video that came out, um, kind of gave it um, like a little backstory, like going through the halls and like the uh, statues and the marble, marble walls, marble floors and stuff like that. Oh. Okay. So that's that's kind of the story behind it. So to that, I think it's fire. Like originally when they when the when the previews first came out, like it looked like blood splatters, and so. It was still fire to me back then, but to see it now and kind of see it in person, like I think it's dope. Yeah, I mean, as a Chelsea fan, I can't say it's fire, but if someone were to rock it, I'd be like, I'll give him, I'll give him, I'll give him a like a nod. I'll be like, all right, I see you. So I'm gonna give it a mid. But uh, yeah, I actually I tried this jersey on actually like last week before it came out, and um, oh, so you got exclusive plug? You just not even gonna share. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm at the hit you later, Nate. Exclusive. <laughs> so yeah, I um I tried it on and I didn't end up and I didn't end up getting it. The only reason why I didn't get it, I don't like the way it was cut. Like it's like it it was cut like a box tee, if that makes sense. Like it's not like a fitted jersey. It's literally cut like a box compared mm. to the the new um home kit or any other Adidas kit that you have of Arsenal's. Like it's mm-hmm. mad like fitting. This one was cut like a boxy. And like if you see the way like Obama Yang modeled it, how his jersey looked loose, that mm-hmm. is like his actual size. Like their jersey's loose. But I think like the marbles fire, the promo video that they put out today was fire. When I looked at it, I, um honestly I was like, oh my god, I wanna buy this jersey first. And then when I tried it on, I was like, nah, this is like mad loose. Like I can't I can't rock this. So you have to go like a size down or something? Yeah, you. I would definitely say, because I tried on the medium. <laughs> I was already got the order up. <laughs> yeah, they, they right. so, so, yeah, they didn't have a, they didn't have a small deal. They're like, oh, we just thought you like just wear medium. So here's your medium. And then I was like, no, you guys got to send this back. I need the, uh, I need the small. Was but, it authentic or? Uh, um, yeah, it was the authentic one. Authentic? Yeah. All right. The authentic one, yeah, it was, it was mad. Like, loose. I don't know. I don't know why, because they gave me the home jersey and the home jersey was cut normally and it was mad tight as the medium. But then when I tried this medium on, I was like, wait a minute, shit's mad loose. But yeah, I think the design of it's fire, like you can definitely wear it out. Um, and people will definitely look at it and be like, wow, that's different. That's that's cool. That's a cool design pattern. And like just the thought process behind it all, the way they brought it out, the promo videos behind it, mad cool. But I'm also biased too. I'm also very yep. biased. <laughs> but I do All think right. for the past two years, Arsenal have had the best kiss in the Premier League since they joined Adidas. I would agree. No bias, <laughs> even though I am biased, but I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going to be an Arsenal podcast. Just let me know. <laughs> All right. So last one we got here is Leeds. 
new kit. They just switched over from Kappa to Adidas, and this is their first home kit look under Adidas. What are your thoughts? It's mad plain, but I rock with it. Like, ah, uh, I think it's. Mm. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it more, the thing is, Leeds have been out of the prem for so long. Adidas could have came up with something like fire for them to welcome them back. I feel like it's a simple kit that they could have had in the championship as well. There's nothing about it that says like, "Hey, we're back." But I do like the simple like blue, like white with the blue accents because that is like classic Leeds. When you think of Leeds, you always picture that blue and white, but. I think if you're gonna come back to the prem after 15 years, Adidas could have worked a little harder. So I'll say mid. Yeah, I like the explanation. I feel like you coming back to the Premier League, you gotta like show like, yo, we've been here before. We like we a historic club, but the simplicity of it, um, as simple as effective. I like the logo integration. I like the simplicity, white and blue. So I definitely think Adidas is definitely gonna come correct with like an, their alternate jerseys or something where it's like. You know, we're paying homage, you know, Leeds is a historic club. We've been here before, but with the home kit, like simple, effective, like we're not like happy to be here. We deserve to be here. Like, you know what we're going to get, I think. So for me, I'm going to say fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say fire too. Um, I know that they were going with like the hella classic look. Um, and I think the blue, the blue stripes are like super vibrant, which is, which really stands out to me. So it looks clean on the white. Um, I, I typically don't like super simple kits, but I feel like it works for them. Um, it's kind of like paying homage to like classic leads. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about the kit sponsor. Um, can't really control that. But I think overall, this this look for like a clean, you know, Sunday, Sunday home jersey, like kind of like the Lakers, like Sunday white, you know? Yeah. And to be fair, that that kit, as simple as it looks, you can definitely wear that on the street and it's and it, it'll be fire. Like as yes. simple as it is, like it's a clean classic jersey that you could just put on and you're like, all right, yeah, this could go on with jeans or something. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I like how we always talked about that, like um, the fact that you can wear it out. Um, like jersey culture is continuing to make soccer more popular globally. And I think uh, designers and like brands definitely think of that when they make these kits. 100%. I think because um, when you look at all the jerseys around, like I think like soccer has the most like lifestyle type jersey. Like mm -hmm. you can't like throw on a ball jersey and go out. You know what I mean? To start yeah. play. Like you could throw yeah. on a soccer jersey. And, like you could only dress up a ball jersey so far before you look crazy. 